you're watching Game of Fellas channel on Twitch. Right, so we're going to be playing AO Tennis 2. Like, just like last time, we had a match with uh, Rafael Nadal and Nick Kyrgios, where I was in control of Nadal, and I just thought I was going to lose that match, but somehow I just made it. It was like a six, uh, it was like a five set match, but somehow I got a got to win uh, that match. You can also check that uh, video if you want to in my video section, uh, or you can also go to youtube.com slash gamerfellow where you can uh, check my channel on YouTube and uh, get to watch watch the video highlights highlights there and uh, also other gameplay videos if you're interested. So let's just not waste any more time and just dive into the action. So this time it's gonna be it's gonna be a women's match this time. So because last time it was men, so we're just gonna uh, stick with women's uh, match this time. So it's gonna be Pet Petra Kvitova. Uh, oh my god, I was like Kvitova, Kvitova. Yeah, Petra Kvitova uh, against Angelique Kerber. So we're gonna be Petra Kvitova. Oh my god, why is it like? Uh, all right. Anyways, uh, Petra Petra Kvitova. Petra Kvitova. Kvitova. Is it? Is K seven? It's not Vitova, right? It's, I think it's Quido, Quidova. I'm not able to uh, spell it right. Anyways, so let's just uh, uh, choose these uh, players. We're going to face, uh, make sure that these people are going to face off against each other. Wait, what did I do? I think I just... All right. There we go. All right, so this time, uh, I think it was uh, set uh, time of day tonight, because last time it was uh, set to dusk or day, something like that. So we're just going to stick with night this time, and the venue is going to be, let's see, we, we, we all already played uh, on a grass court and a uh, play court as well. So this time, I think we'll probably stick with uh, let's try with something different. Maybe New York. A hard court. So we have yet to play uh, with the hard code. So we just select that. And let's see, we've got uh, three different types of court here. Show court and main court. Yeah, show court looks good. Uh, there's like you know, it's some open space up there on top, which looks nice. Uh, you get to see the skies a little. And outside court, I think this is more like you know, an indoor um, court or sorts. Maybe we'll just select main court, maybe. Let's go for that. Right, total crowd capacity, 23,000. Right. So this time, we just try to keep it short, because the last time the games we played, it was like, um, say, it was like five sets for the last two games that we played. But this time, we're going to make it more intense make it a bit more short and more fast paced so let's stick with three sets and uh there's also one set but i think that'll be too short yeah too short one set is just gonna be it's just gonna get over soon so just uh, stick with three sets and six games as usual and decide the set with uh maybe try something different this time a win by two games instead of a tie break you now tie break is like you know it's going to be like one one two one three one something like that but win by two games is going to be like two additional games uh, will will be uh, the decider, you know, uh, of who is going to win the match. All right, decide the final set. All right, this is just decide the first set and the second set. And the final set, the, the third set could be win by two games again, same as this, or maybe we'll just keep it at tiebreak. All right, I think we'll just stick with uh, tiebreak uh, just to keep things interesting. And the tiebreak length, yeah, that's going to be uh, 7 points, just like last time. Maybe we'll stick with 10 points. Maybe that can be longer, like a, you know, like a grand finale of sorts. Uh, right. And final tiebreak length, yeah, that'll be the same. Maybe we'll just stick with 5 points for... 
the first two uh, sets uh, if you get to tie break. Right, and the difficulty, yep, we'll just stick with amateur. So the rookie is going to be... Even the amateur difficulty was kind of like quite challenging for me, like just like last time. But let's see, uh, let's try with these two players. Um, maybe, maybe, we maybe we could just get a different experience out of that. All right, so the game is loading up. All right, so these are the controls uh, for the keyboard and the controls for the joystick. If you're a hardcore, a hardcore tennis fan, I, you know, if you like to play uh, tennis video games, I think you should try this as well. Uh, it's just as good as um, Virtua Tennis uh, 3 and uh, which, Virtua Tennis 4. I mean, wow, those games are really, uh, brings back memories though. And I kind of like, I, I also wish that there was a commentary or something like that in the game. Just like, you know, FIFA. Like, FIFA has, like, a diverse, you know, like, uh, diverse commentary. It doesn't sound repeated. You know, the, it's not like the commentators are trying to say the same thing over and over again. I mean, I wish we had something like that with tennis. But, but you know, like, at the end of the day, uh, people, you know, if they buy sport games... I mean, there are like a lot of buyers from all around the world who buy FIFA, so that's why it's it sells, it makes cash. So obviously, it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, more diverse. So we could, you know, fulfill the uh, demands of the audience. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this exhibition match. Uh, let's go for heads. There we go. We won the toss and we're going to serve. Alright, so we're going to kick off All right now with the serve. It's going to be three sets, guys, so it's going to be... Pretty much uh, shorter than last game. I thought that was full. The court actually feels uh, different. The, the way the ball, you know, comes to you, it feels a little different than the clay court or the grass court. All right, thank, thank God. I gotta come back. I gotta come back. All right, that was good. Wow, like she runs like really good. I mean, oh God, that was really close. Really, uh, impressive, impressive set of uh, display uh, there. Really close, almost got it. So we are Pet Petra Fedova. We are playing against the, an AI Angelique Kerber from Germany. Fedova is from uh, Russia. All right. Oh, that was really, oh my god, I knew it. So that shot oh, felt man. a bit. Uh, Left, first set. Right, so let's try something different. Oh, thank God. I should have thought that was full. Yikes, see? Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. That's out. Fifteen thirty. Let's uh, 
first set of points for us in this match. Oh, that was weak. Oh, that was a really good return, though. And oh my God. Fifteen points. Nice. Oh, oh. oh. Greatness at display there. My uh Herber. Just the beginning for Pitova. Still, there's a long way to go. Oh, that was that. Is challenging the ball on the left far side. The ball was pulled out. And it is out. So 15. Yep. I don't know why I did that. I just thought I had swung the racket, but it appears I didn't. There you go, advancing much ahead. I'm just going for the uh, big shot. Sometimes you gotta play a bit aggressive, and sometimes you just gotta stick with the defense, depending on your mood. Whoa, 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 come on! Oh my god. Uh, since we have, we appear not to uh, get off a good start. Well, there you go. Somehow we have uh, level. It's got to score two more points to uh, win the game. The first game. There we go. Wow. Was uh, quite unexpected from the uh, AI. Oh, there you go. That's our first game, ladies and gentlemen. And I thought it was a, like a solid return. So it's like 1-1 one, one in the first set. Radical should be green. Somehow it's just going to be... I, I mean, there we go. Wow. This game is uh, quite unpredictable. Like sometimes you just... You know, don't seem to have that touch. Well, there we go. It's a fantastic serve. I don't think the AL was prepared for that. 
Oh, that was find something similar there, but um, doesn't necessarily have to be like you know work every single time. So, oh, 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 my, god. oh my god! Gotta go for that return. There, uh, oh, that was really close. Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, good god. I actually thought I'm gonna win the point. Why am I not winning? Sometimes I swear there's like, you know, movement. I mean, just the player is just standing there, like looking at the ball and doing nothing. And I'm pretty pretty sure that my keyboard works, but ah, oh, god, double fault. Ah, uh, this is the waste of points. The opposition should be smiling right now. Not again. I can't afford any more of those falls or double falls. And a really good return. Fantastic volley there. Fault again. So many faults in this game. Fantastic serve. We are leading the game. We are at sitting up first on top of advantage. And somehow we just got a win, oh, win this set. I mean, win this game. Oh, that's a really good return. And I appreciate that. I mean, Petra appreciates that. Can be. Advantage. The opposition, Injali Kerber, is on advantage. Fitova has to make sure that it comes back to Juice, but unfortunately, it's two games for Kerber and one game for Fitova. Think about uh, three sets and uh, it's not good at all. That's uh, pretty pretty clumsy. Yeah. So as I was saying, the thing about three sets is like the person who wins the first set is like oh. actually that. Uh, Poor placement of the ball there. The person who wins the first set uh, has an advantage, like, can be relaxed, and uh, all he has to do is, like, is win the second set. And it's uh, more pressure for the opposition who hasn't, uh, you know, won any set. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm going to ask the review. I'm not sure. Oh, boy. Should have uh, saved that uh, review. For some reason, I thought it was going in.
That's really good. 14, the ball appeared to be uh, going slow there, and I wonder why the opposition didn't go for that shot. Left, first set. Why in the world? Game cover. That was uh, Out. Love fifteen. The experience uh, is different with every player. I'm not sure. I think that's how it's intended there i mean this actually feels like you know feels different than the other two games i've played in the same difficulty i don't know yep the second i thought it was going out but unfortunately it didn't thank you what i Uh, go for. Whoa! That was a really good return, though. Oh, that! Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Oh, God. Thirty. -oh. Why? Why didn't she go for that shot? I mean, I swear I pressed, I swear I pressed the right keys there, but uh, unfortunately, I think that this game could be having some issues. Can't waste any more shots. Just gotta make sure that the reticle 
is uh, green and also the speed of the uh, backhand or forehand whatever shot you're playing that should be like like really high so you can just get that crucial point Left. Just gotta make sure that um, we don't, we just don't waste any more points here. Oh, oh God, that's. Cheers. Thank you. That's when I thought things were getting easier. Oh. Advantage, Kerma. Kerber is pretty much in the lead there. The bat to win the first set. He's gotta try to change things around, hoping that the first set comes to a tie break and. Oh god, here we go. That's, that's gonna prove very uh, expensive for Kratova. I don't know the start I was expecting there this is going pretty much worse. Well, that's a win predictor there. And we're 83% for Kerber and 17% for Kotoba. A solid serve. Could this be a vital comeback for Kotoba? That's a solid return there. That's going to be juice. And a solid return there. 
positioning of the ball is what matters. Yes. Oh, God. Uh, but sometimes you just gotta be, uh, like, really prepared, though. And the advantage, it's further. It's also a set point. And it's back to Deuce. And this thing is going back and forth there. Jeez. The two players are like sweating it out. That's advantage for Pitova. Will she be able to uh, win this game? That's out. She stopped her op opposition to uh, win the set. But still, there's a long way to go. And uh, Angelique Kerber's pretty much in the lead with five games. She just, uh, she just has to win one game, whereas the Kritoba has to has just two, two games. A solid return. Could this be? There we go. Like I said, I think this could be a. Uh, the tide could change any time here, and it appears to be favoring Pitova. But still, it's too early to say that. And it's got Gotta go for the smash somehow, but this is so opportunity wasted. Could have been in, in easily, but uh, as you can see, the win predictor is still it favors Kerber. The audience are favoring Kerber for now. There we go. Solid forehand there. A weak return there. So it was pretty uh, impressive. Forty fifteen. And not a bad return there. The serve was solid as well. Kerber is slowly climbing back up. He isn't ready to give up. Thank you. And that's out. 
Game for Toba. Uh, that's, that's a third game for Kvitova. I think, as you can see, she somehow just got lucky there. It was just right outside. It could have been in and uh, somehow just got out of the line. And a really nice slice there. Not a bad serve. Not a bad serve at all, but somehow I just gotta maintain that rally. Fifteen all, you know. So just have to make sure we keep keep it that way. A really nice slice there. You can see that the win predictor is uh, now 21% for, for Kritova and 79 for Kerber. actually see the uh, like some Thank you. part of the audience have changed their opinion on who's gonna win this game but like I said it's still too early to say I think rather than focusing on who's gonna win I think we got all we gotta see is how the entire match turns out to be like if it's highly competitive, it's going to be very entertaining for the viewers to watch. It's got a solid return. But it's all about the strategy. Somehow, we just got to make sure that tennis is not just about power. It's also about tactics. Sometimes you just got to go for fresh tactics if you want to stay in the game and also if you got to stay in the top for years to come. You just got to evolve and not just stick with the old routines. Fantastic serve there, and the game is for Kontova. Four games, she's almost really close to be even with Kerber's five games. Five four, and Kerber doesn't look happy about that. She probably would be trying to do something different there. Really fantastic serve by Kerber and Kritova. And not a bad return, but 
Unfortunately, that proved. I'm not sure what Toto was thinking there. Serve was splendid. I think Kerber's really uh, aggressive this time. It certainly appears that way. So we look at that. I think that uh, peered in, but unfortunately, uh, the umpire has given it out. Oh. 13, 15. Thank you. This is a uh, set point for for Berber. Fault. Fantastic return there. Will the Toga be able to ch change the tide? To her favor. I think we just gotta wait and watch. That's a fantastic return. Juice. And that's a really uh, amazing gameplay, a uh, display of uh, tennis there. That's an advantage for Katoa. Advantage to turn. Kerber is probably a bit uh, shaken there. Fault. Fault. Like I said. One more of those and uh, Katoa will take the game away from her. And the set, almost. Really fantastic return there. That's out. The game is for Kitova. And it's 5-5. Five five. This is not over yet. The first set, I think these two players are really at it. They're just not gonna, gonna let go.
Fantastic forehand there. That's the game. It's over. Six five. Quite an unexpected comeback there. Marvelous, marvelous display of tennis right there. But that's what you call a comeback. You never know who's going to win the match. Well, this is going to be a crucial game for both of them because this will, this will decide the first set. Winner of the first set, that is. Fantastic return there. That there's no way of. Getting that ball. Just right behind the baseline of the uh, opposition. Could have placed the ball better. But unfortunately, uh, Herbert slipped. Kerber is in a terrible spot here. The pressure is back at her. Thank you. As that's, it's a set point for Titova. Just gotta see if she's if she'll be able to make it. And that's first set. For Kutova. An unexpected comeback there from two games to seven. That's what it that's what it's all about, guys. It's all about focus. You never lose focus. And then it just automatically uh, goes your way. Seven five. What a thrilling first set. A fantastic display of tennis uh, from both players. And we should start off with the second set. And Kotova is continuing with that splendid game play. Out. That's a fantastic return. Really tactical there. Is that again? Fifteen. Just gotta wait and find out. 
This is going to win the second set. Kotova wins the second set, then it's going to be set and match for Kotova. If not, it's going to be 1-1 one, one by one set each for both the players. And now, as you can see, the audience is favoring Kotova with 82%. But still, that's about to change, though. It depends on who appears to be in good form there. And it's 40-30. Well, that appeared to be a... Uh, That's out, so fantastic smash there, which fetches advantage for Petra Kotova. I'm going to try something different here. Alt. Solid serve. Fantastic return there. A nice volley. That's out. And Fatoa wins the first game from the second set. Could this be her game? Could this be her day? And with each and every game, with each and every single game, it's going to be, uh, we'll be getting close to know about who's going to win the match. Fantastic return, but not enough. The way she whacked the ball there it was a bit too hard. So it just went right past the baseline. She could have had it almost. Kerber could have almost had it at. But unfortunately, she didn't. She's got to find a new way to uh, take Kotova down. There we go. Classic return. 30 love, and uh, Toba seems to be in a really good form here. And I just hope she stays that way. Ball was just out of reach there. Slow 40. No words. It's always sealing that game. Herself. Oh. Fantastic return. And a really good return there again. Kerber is having a hard time. I think it's probably uh, the pressure there. 
the pressure gets to a player, especially when you when it gets into the player's head, it's gonna be uh, really hard. It's gonna be out. Petra's not gonna bother with that. See that coming from a mile away that it was not gonna land in land in. That's an amazing set of skills. She seems to be uh, unstoppable here in the second set. And from what we've seen from the first set, it appeared to be a uh, different game. She seems to be leading with three games. We never know. Even Kerber could probably come back. Just like how Petra did last time. I mean, in the first set. That's not going to go past the net. 15. And that's going to fetch some points for Kerber. And that's 30-15. That was odd. Appeared to be really close, but uh, fortunately she, she just didn't Five go nine. for it. Rally was getting pretty intense there. Started wondering who's going to take that point. So uh, seems to be in the lead. Fault. Well, too many of those would be uh, would prove to be quite expensive for Joey Kerber. Out. 
It's probably got to release some tension. Game is now deuce. It could be anyone's game here. Just got to find out who's going to take the advantage and uh, in this game. Matoga seems to be leading with the uh, second set. Ow. That ball, he was... It looked quite impressive there, but uh, the positioning of the ball... Just didn't time it right. Could have had the shot, but unfortunately it missed and just went past the baseline of the opposition. Fault. Really nice volley there. It's back to Juice. And there's no stopping that shot there. She just sliced it like it was a piece of cake. What? One more of those could be uh, quite crucial. That and Kerber has now the advantage again for the second time. Let That's fault. More of those, and uh, it's not going to be. Uh, A splendid shot, but just went past the outer line. It's now back to Deuce again. Toa doesn't seem to give up. First fault. And there's going to be advantage for Kvitova. Advantage to Toto. Game seems to be uh, turning around. Back to Kvitova's favor. Whoa. And as you can see, the nerves are jangling there. Both the players are pretty stressed out. Fantastic return, and that's a game for Kvitova. Despite that fantastic forehand there, as you can see, it's a fantastic forehand, but unfortunately just went past, just zipped past the baseline. Probably yeah. the uh, force in which you hit the ball just has to be controlled. Classic return. That's fetches 15. Hopefully it's over. So 
Argentina. Well, that was quite lucky for Vitova. The ball just tipping the uh, edge of the net. Luckily, just landed on the uh, opposition's court, side of the court. What's that? Sometimes luck doesn't favor you every single time. Really fantastic return, but and that was supposed to be a really good smash for Pritova, but uh, fortunately, just that just didn't go quite as expected. And she comes back with a fantastic serve, fetching her the game 5 0. And she's just one game away from victory. And this would probably be the uh, final set of this match. Angelique Kerbers should probably try to focus and you know get back the game if she ought to make things interesting. Remember, guys, this is where uh, it's like last time. It's 15 love for 15 points for Kerber. Just remember the first set, that's how Herber was at. Uh, she was like, there we go. It's all leveled. First set, uh, Herber was at 50, uh, five, point, 5 games and Beto was at 2. And somehow we uh, the game had changed in unexpected ways. Fantastic return, but that's not that's up to no good. It's 30 15 there. Kerber seems to be quite determined there. She seems to be it was quite clumsy and uh, weak, you can say. Gotta say that. Out. 40, 50. Angelique Kerber is uh, probably it could be her game this time. She's yet to draw first blood in second set. And there's no way getting that. Petova takes it to the next level and it's game for game Kerber that's her way of saying uh, it's not over yet could this be a uh, comeback for Kerber just like how it was for Petova the first set Matova seems to be losing the grip there. Quiet, please. Seems to be losing the grip, but uh, we never know for sure. It's a fantastic return. And Matova gets the ball. It's 15 0. 15 0. Fantastic serve there. Just whacking the ball way past the opponent. Quite unexpected. Oh. She's trying something similar there, but it doesn't work this time. A solid return. And a fantabulous backhand there. 
Let's have a look at that re replay. Could this be uh, Kerber's set? Zoba leads this game with 40 points, and Kerber is just one step away from uh, making this juice. Fantastic serve, and it, that's gonna win. That's gonna make the Toa take the set and the match. A really fantastic display of. Fabulous, fabulous performance. A really fast-paced match. It was a really good match, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is Gamerfella signing off, and we will soon start uh, with the gameplay of Alien Isolation. Right where we left off from last time, you can also have a look into the, uh, check my YouTube channel where I have uploaded my Twitch videos and, you know, you want to have a look at my old videos, you can find it right there, Game of Fella in YouTube. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so we just stopped the stream right now, we'll be right back, stay tuned for more.